Hey guys, it's Sarah's 597 and today I'm going to be showing you um, some of the resin charms that I made. I actually went to the store and bought some resin um, and I made a huge batch, um, another batch actually, um, and this is a batch of 21. Um, this is what they look like. I'm going to say right now I give pretty much all the credit to Tattooed Cookie because I watched her tutorial and I think they turned out great for like some of my first ones. These are the ones I have first made ever and I made them like three days ago or something like that. Um, but the first one I have, it looks like this. But I think that when I do make my resin charms, I have to wait a little bit longer before I add the um, glitter. Then I have this one. And they are very shiny. Then I have this one. Um, you can't actually see the white, and I was kind of disappointed in that. It planned to be pink, white, and then orange. But I think it turned out good anyway. Then I have this one. I also made this one and I'm kind of disappointed in how this one turned out also because there is streak marks and plus you can't you can like see through it and I don't like that also the um, glitter isn't really bright anyway it's supposed to be white glitter but I forgot to add a color, so. Then I have this one. Oops. Huh. The dog is sleeping. Then I have this one. Then this one. I wasn't really too happy about how this one turned out either because I didn't line up the glitter perfectly. But it does have a nice blending effect. As you can tell in the background, I kind of went too far with the green. Then I have this fish one. And I actually really like this blue color. I also plan to put sand in the bottom like um, Tattooed Cookie did with one of hers. Um, but I didn't have time to get sand. And I kind of just had to put this in. Then I have this one, and I also really like this one. And these are all glazed and sanded, by the way. This one is light pink and like a darker, darker pink. Not sure if you can tell, but there you can tell a little bit where they were divided. 
Then I also really like this one. And I am going to, and the glitter is even. And the stickers push down all the way. Um, but if you'd like to buy one of these, they are for sale. If you're interested, just PM me and I will tell you on how much shipping is. Then I have this one. I'm not too thrilled with this one. I wish I just went all light blue or the light blue and then dark blue. But I think it turned out good. Then I have this one. I was actually really happy that this one turned out good because um, this is a, like a really, really thin sticker. And I was afraid that it was going to poke a hole. But one thing I am disappointed about is um, it's not even. But these are just like my first ones. So I'm really happy on how they turned out. Then I have this one. I didn't realize it made doubles. Um, but these are two different things. This It's the same sticker. Except it's a green up here, pink down here. I have green glitter on the green and the pink glitter on the pink. And then over here, the glitter is divided evenly. And I have pink glitter with the green and uh, a green glitter with the pink. Then I have this one, and I don't really like this one. I don't know why it looks cracked on the back. It doesn't look like that, though. I don't know why it looks like that on camera. But those are my resin charms. Um, I will add an eye pin and a necklace. And again, if you are interested, just p please PM me and I can um, work something out. Um, but I'm just going to do a quick look at them all. So if you'd like to buy, buy one, please PM me and please rate, comment, and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what you think. And just to let you know, there is no air bubbles in any of these and there is like no dust or hair, nothing. They turned out really good for like my first ones, so I'm really happy on how they turned out and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys.